action. <laughs> you look great. You're like, Go ahead. <laughs> Let's start. Mm, last year in Linaro Connect, I have introduced an intern project. This, this year we have changed many, so I updated the status of an intern project today. Mm, this is the content of today. First, uh, I will introduce what's an intern for new. For Mm, the second, I'm getting started with an intern. That means how to use an intern. And I will introduce what changed, what had changed in last year, and what we have today, and what you can get if you, you, if you use an intern, and what we will do in the future. The last is the Q&A. First is what's an intern? An intern is a library of uh, is a library that is a common common function based on Neon hardware. If you use an intern, you can get the most of ARM v7 Neon hardware and without assembly coding. I think is a, an intern library is very suitable for the developers that uh, such as apps developers because they that. They are not familiar with near, with assembly coding, and uh, maybe and uh, <coughs> if they use an intern library, they will get the most of uh, near hardware without assembly coding. Getting how to use an intern, we have post the blog. We have posted one blog about an intern library getting started in ARM community site. This, if you access this blog, this blog have introduced how to compile and how to use an intern library. The picture illustrates the directory of an intern. Of an intern. We, this is the current directory of an intern. This organization is different from last year. We have improved the directory. Currently, we have three modules, uh, MICE, DSP, and Image Processing. DSP and Image, image Processing are added last year. And we are image pro processing functions. We are in process. Currently, image resize has been added to an intern library. I will introduce this module later. What has changed last year? To resolve license compatible problem, we have changed, we have changed the BSD3 class license. Currently, an intern library are licensed both BSD3 class is new BSD license and Apache 2. So you can use any of them. Um, the build system was implemented by CMake. CMake is a kind of build system. If you use CMake, you can implement cross-platform easily. For example, you can use CMake to support iOS, Android, Linux, even Windows. And we also the code directory was recognized in last year. The code, the code directory will only have ink source module. So it's a, it's a little simple. Currently, we recognize just like this. I think it's more, it's easy to, easy to know which function, which directory is for what. Mm. The test environment was also built. We use C test. This, uh, this is a very simple test framework. So we, the test environment we also build. And the document we also generate and upload it on the GitHub. And uh, DSP and the image processing modules are added. And we also fixed some bugs in last year. Uh, what we have today? Currently, we have mass module. Mass module will have some vector matrix algorithm message. 
and the DSP module currently we implement complex and real FFT and IFFT and we also have some FIR and IIR functionality functionalities. Uh, for image pro module, the image resize we have added in it uh, image rotate is uh, is in in progress. Uh, the image module is a lot with we get some back feedback from the user some uh, some app developers they want to image processing function really because they doesn't know how to how to code how to how to code with neon assembly so they expect we can commit the image processing functions to GitHub as soon as possible. Uh, what you can cut, what you can get with an item, I think the first is make your applications running fast. The second, you can without neon coding. So that is an example for image resize. We use bilinear interpolation image resize. The performance ratio is about 2.6 with one. The one is Nian Wash. Two point two point six is the C implement. So the developer is very satisfied with this result. They expecting they expecting us to commit this GitHub. Who is using an item? The customer of Aiton has posted a blog introduce they use Aiton to improvement to improvement their apps. This company is uh, uh, locate and navigate inside in the, inside the building. So the, the algorithm they used involves many vector and the matrix operation. So they use the Aiton library and according to their data, they get about five times speed of gains. I think it's a very, very good improvement. And we, after, after the data from Google Analyst, we can found in about one month, we have about 270 people visit our website. Our website, our intern library. In last year, uh, we have limited resources to develop an intern. But this year, we have more, more resources to develop an intern. I think this data, the customer and the visitor of GitHub will be increased, continue. Mm, what we will do? According to our plan, we will support Linux, Android, and iOS. Mm, we also will have, for Q2, we also will develop Spass FFT. Maybe you, you are not familiar with Spass FFT. It's a new, algor new algorithm for FFT in 2012. The sparse FFT is a faster algorithm than FFT for a large range of practical useful case. Mm, we will also develop other image processing functions such as Gaussian blur and surface blur. The image processing functions are used for the photograph on the mobile platform. You can you can think of this as uh, the Photoshop on your, on your cell phone, <laughs> on your smartphone. Mm. Uh, we also will add support of RV8. This is 64-bit. Six, mm. We also will add uh, some functions from physics engine. These functions are from Box2D game engine. Mm. Besides these applications, I think we are seeking more applications. Mm. 
the image processing are from the developers of apps. Um, Space F FFT is a very useful transform in signal processing. So this is our friend. Maybe we are expecting you can give, um, give, give us feedback about more applications. So this is project and it turns lock logo. Okay. So the N E ten is one project within the Dinaro. Uh N E ten is a library in GitHub. No, it's a no. No, no. No, no. no, it's it's actually all the Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Any questions? So, <clears throat> yay, uh, so we uh, appreciate you coming out and, and talking again this year. Uh, yeah. Yang was here last year at the same venue telling us about NE10. Uh, and mm -hmm. at that point, it was just the math library support, right? Yeah. So you at the, so in a year, you uh, the project has added the image processing. Yeah. And <clears throat> what was the other one? DSP. 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 Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And it sounds like you have a new customer or uh, have a customer for it. Yeah. So, um, where do you suspect? So you're, you're going to add uh, uh, the more image processing. Yeah. In the next, uh, I guess, in the next uh, coming months. Yeah. And uh, what's what's uh, what else are you guys planning on on adding? Eh, you. Yeah. How else are you planning to to uh, add to the any ten library? What other functionality? Uh, I think uh, we will add some um, such as Gaussian blur. These these functions are used for image post processing. Um, for the software, for the Photoshop on your smartphone, uh, the blur function is used to maybe look your face more white <laughs> <laughs> and make your eyes look big. <laughs> but these functionality are very welcome by the user. <laughs> uh, we have a customer who are developer uh, photo, just the uh, Photoshop. Uh, maybe it's not Photoshop, it's a photo, this is a cam this is software. Uh, this is a Chinese local customer, but their apps will the uh, top one of the app store and uh, Android market. This is the top one on the photograph <laughs> reference softwares. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, but uh, for the app developers, they don't know anything about Neon Assembly, so they are waiting for. <laughs> Waiting for us to commit these functions. So, so, so the way, oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, please. Yeah. So the way the any ten uh, project works is you basically collect the uh, requirements from the yeah. Eco, uh, from the community. Yeah. And, and uh, then you filter out you know, uh, uh, something you think is very important and you think yeah. uh, doing something. So it, it's more like a, like a, uh, so if I have some requirement. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Sure. But we will implement, implement some generic functions. Generic. Yeah, such as image resize. I think it's very generic mm -hmm. functions. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be used mainly image processing software. Because, mm -hmm. for example, a uh, system like Android, they call some sort of new optimization, especially about the color space and loading, that kind of things. So, this area you, you are not going to cover again. You, you will cover something Android that doesn't cover at this moment. Maybe. Okay. So it's an open project, so really, if you have things you would like to decentralize, they call it uh, alongside the collection of functions you have in any 10 yeah. it's really there for people to add to. So Yang and team in ARM has developed uh, a set of functions which we think are useful and we can write optimally Right, right. the but actually you can add to that and uh, you know the more functions and libraries you will have the more useful it will be for Android so it, it's not just 
but one way thing it's really <coughs> to have more developers uh, contributing to that and also integrating that with Android or Linux framework. Actually, that's how it will be more useful to developers. Okay, so this is a question. Um, whether in the future uh, the AMD 10 code you are going to upstream it to Android, which you have this kind of thing, or upstream to be somewhere? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you could have. Uh, you, you, you have no plan to upstream or to it just in some other. Well, it is the upstream if you want. I mean, Google or some yeah. other major yeah, project okay. uses it by default into their SDK or the framework is a different question. But okay. it, yeah. is a, it is an upstream project because we, we started that and developed it. Uh, okay, okay. So, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not tied to Android if you want. You can link it to any type of applications, but it's really. We want people to use that and contribute to it, so actually right. it becomes a, 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 a useful collection of, of optimized code. So okay. people don't have to rewrite again. That's okay. really what it is. But it is the upstream if you want. Right. How about the contribution from Compute? We are excited to accept if the function is generic functionality. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. also talking about iOS. Yeah. But the license is quite liberal and purposely so, so that you can actually combine that with quite a big range of projects. Mm -hmm. So it's in limiting the constraints as much as we can. So people can actually bundle that with their applications. And you don't want to be limited by some funny licensing rules. So that's really the intent. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just just to be clear, it's dual licensed under um, yeah. Apache and BSD. Mm. Uh, how far is it the same as the OpenGL? Uh, yeah. Is it the same, same as, as OpenGL? OpenGL. Yeah. Open yeah. Open yeah. Anything is the same as OpenGL? No. 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 It did OpenGL is graphics. Any ten. So no. most of the ARM cores have this uh, neon uh, neon core in it. That can, uh, CMD and Gene, so it's, it's right. really it's complementary to OpenGL. OpenGL is for what you do with graphics, Mali, or GPU. This is more to do with the CMD engine and really do that on the CPU. Is it for the hardware acceleration? Is it like for accelerating the graphics or 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 No, so so if, if, if in the case that you were going to be doing something like matrix math on the core, this comes in handy. And you know, so that might be a way you might split your application between things, doing things on the GPU and doing things on the core. I think that might be where you're going. There's basically a collection of basic standard functions, like FFT and uh, various these filters we're mentioning, uh, FIR, IR filters, uh, blur filters, these kind of things. Like take an application like say you know Instagram that use these fancy effects on the photos. I mean, those effects are really just a combination of a sequence of fairly basic filters. So many of those filters might actually one day be in any 10 as a sort of basic building block. And then by combining them in the right sequence with the right parameters, you can achieve all these nice effects that people like. How do you compare to Orc? Well, Orc is a, uh, uh, that's a language in, that's designed for writing vector code to, that will then be compiled into uh, a SIMD instruction set. That was very similar with Libile, which was the same approach as this, but then... I mean, or, 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 ORC is code generation. But you started with a library that was like this. Yeah, but that was abandoned for some reason. Yeah. Now I'm just wondering... <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's a, wise or? ORC, ORC serves a different purpose. I mean, that exists so that if you're writing an application and you need some, to do some sort of vector processing, then you can write those bits in this ORC language, which is more tailored to being, it's an architecture independent vector programming language, which allegedly can be more easily compiled, more efficiently compiled into, well, Neon code or SSE code or any other vector processing yeah, instruction I, set. I know, I was wondering if it's been compared. I don't really know how you would compare it because they, it's, you it's not an apples to apples comparison. Are you getting at, I, I, I'm sorry, but are you getting at, you know, I guess I've never heard of work, but it doesn't, it actually produces neon code on yeah. high level. It does have a neon backend, yes. Okay, so because I guess is the comparison 
one of... Could, what you're looking for is how would, if you implemented these same algorithms in all, how would that form compared to the any 10 assembly code? Right, yeah. right. But that comparison hasn't been done. I mean, that would be a fairly extensive job to do, to write all this code in ORC and compile it and test it. So it already exists in handwritten assembly, and I would very much doubt that ORC would beat that. Right. No, that's a fair statement. I think the any 10 is more hand-tuned assembly code and functions, which is really you would have to do more work with um, with ORC and, and Deboil in terms of libraries for really getting the same performance with that. Okay. So I, I this is a great session and I appreciate you coming back, uh, Yang, to talk about it after this year. Last year, we, uh, we, we also had the session and we took a bunch of action items, most of which were, let's do something about this in, in Lenaro, but I'll actually ask that in a different way this year, which is, what, uh, what sort of support do you think you could use from Lenaro to help you guys out? I think uh, the target of an intern is to make your applications running fast and without assembly code, without re repeated Neon assembly coding. This is the two benefit of an intern. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that Lenaro can do to help you guys out? Integrating mm, it into maybe platforms? if they found if they found some applications could be optimized by Nia. Okay. We are excited to accept the contribution from Lenaro. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like, you know, putting putting this thing into some sort of platform make it people uh, make it easier for people to actually experiment with any 10, use it in an Android, and then also pushing back to your guys' project. Um, yeah. maybe, maybe we'll get Mons going on that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, great. Does anybody else have anything? Any other questions? Do you have plan to use in this project? Oh, one second. Oh, you don't ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> anything else? Okay. Thank you, Yang. Appreciate it. Yeah.